This game is rated M for Mature. You can get hurt by this? Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> Hello everybody, hey it's Taiwani, it's the Party Cthulhu here and welcome back to more Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. In the last episode, we took care of the Sabbat, um, hopefully once and for all, at least here in downtown LA for the time being, at their base at the Hallberg Hotel. Um, trust me, I, I killed all of them myself, so <laughs> yeah, they're gone, they're out of there. Uh, I feel like we start every episode in stupid stuffed, stupid stuffy, stupid stuffy little penthouse. So let's, let's leave and go out into the wonderful streets of downtown LA. Well, we have our mission for this time. We found out a whole bunch of information about a big Quajin conspiracy they had trying to frame Nine for the murder of Alistair Grout. A whole bunch of plot things happened last episode, trust me. And if I can stop accidentally burping from drinking too much water. Uh, our goal in this episode is to go to the Anarchs because we want them to join us in the fight as kind of um, put aside our little civil war. Uh, while this is happening, I, I need to top off on some blood. So, uh, fight this kind of war against the Quajin, because apparently that's what we're supposed to do. Oh, I should have actually put on my other clothes. Uh, so my- oh, I loaded up my sneak before that. Here, you know what? Better late than never. Wait. This is- adds dex, but- How does wearing different clothes make me better at lockpicking? This game is ridiculous sometimes. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we need to go see the Anarchs. Of course, always at the last round. Um, I should know actually while I'm walking there. You may notice a little something different about this episode if you're looking very closely. Wait. Oops. Um, uh, about the sarcophagus. Um, yeah. What is it? Don't open it. Whatever you do, do not open the uncurrent sarcophagus. Well, I wasn't really planning upon it. Um, well, you said there was nothing to worry about, and now you're doing a big 180. Well, despite what I said, if that sarcophagus is opened, there will be disaster. In what form, I cannot be sure. But after studying the evidence, I'm convinced now that it is better left undisturbed. And anyone who pursue any other course is deserving of the consequences. Uh, this doesn't sound like the normal you. Um, why did you change your mind? There's an intangible sensation I haven't been able to put my finger on since I came to town. I still don't know where it seeps from. But if the sarcophagus is a possibility, to eliminate that chance, it should remain closed. Okay, wait wait a second. Didn't you come to town before we had the sarcophagus? Because we got it on the Elizabeth Dane, and you came here when we blew up the Sabat warehouse. I, I don't know. Uh, is it an antediluvian? Has, has Yana started? Well, we did learn that about all that, I think. We at least learned about... Uh, Yehannes, I don't know if we actually know what an antediluvian is in canon, but we learned that all from uh, Bertram. If Gehenna has begun, then we are all doomed, no matter what course of action we take. Well, alright, thanks for the warning. I thought you deserved a chance. There's a good possibility we may not meet again. Goodbye, young one. Well, uh, bye, bye Beckett. Alright, um... <laughs> Well, it took a while for me to be able to move. Alright, somebody needs to, like, shut up their dog. Come on. Um, that's how I was knowing. This is just stupid editing babble that, like, only I would care about. But you may, you may notice this episode looks a little different. I've been recording every single episode of the series at 768p. Resolution of 30, uh, 1366 by 768. I meant to change this in episode 2, and I never got around to it and never remembered until this episode. So... Now it's at 720p, like it should be. Whatever, let's go into the last round. And uh, as I said before, this is us con uh, continuing our trend of visiting people that we uh, made friends with before on an adventure. But this time we're here for work and not for pleasure. How are you, damsel? You are so lucky this is Elysium, Cammy. 
Uh, well, I need to talk to Nines. The Prince wants an alliance with the Anarchs. Well, uh, the blood hunt is off. Zhao killed Grout. She's a shapeshifter. That's hard to say. We told him Nines didn't do it. That son of a... An equation bitch! If I ever get my hands on her, I'll tie her eyelashes to her ass hairs and pull her ass into an arc compactor. Demon! Oh, poor! Damn, that's a, that's a creative one. Now you see why I need to talk to Nines. Where it... Where he is he? <laughs> oh, I love Damsel. Okay, uh, I get it. You know, we all feel the same way. Where is Nines? Oh, uh, thanks, Damsel. That's, uh, awesome. Oh, uh, let's go visit the other Anarchs, actually. Well, Jack is nowhere to be seen. Obviously, Nines in here, but we can at least talk to our other good buddy. What did I do? Hey, I did nothing about that. Also, uh, yeah, we have a big update on the situation, but apparently we can't tell you this. I just saw him there. Okay, you're you're a little behind the times. Whatever, I'm I'm leaving you. Apparently, you're not our friend. Well, we have our mission: go to Griffith Park, convince Nines to take the alliance with the Camarilla. Somehow, I don't think this is such a good plan. But there is a little hitch about this that. I don't want to mention because it's kind of technically a spoiler, but it is uh, extremely. God, th those two people just like I had to try and make that gap, and it wasn't gonna work. Very big hitch about this, and uh, you you should know this going in. It's kind of a spoiler, but whatever. This is the point of no return for the story. As soon as you take the cab to Griffith Park, basically the rest of the game will be locked off to you. It's going to be a big finale sequence. So. If there's anything you're planning on doing, any side quest that you haven't done, any item that you haven't picked up, you need to make extra preparations, go buy more weapons, go get more blood, do anything, you should take care of that before going on here if you want to, uh, I was gonna say go free Heather, but she would be dead by this point in the story. If you need to do literally anything, go take care of her right now, this is a point of no return, you're not gonna be able to access the rest of the game beyond this point. Now, I kind of went about the side quests in this game in a stupid order, doing basically every single one that I had available as soon as I could, so you probably have some side quests left that you haven't taken care of. Maybe you haven't done the graveyard mission yet because you weren't really confident in your abilities. Uh, maybe you don't have celerity, you didn't have high disciplines, whatever. Go take care of that now. Go take care of whatever side quests you need. You even, if you went through uh, the Giovanni Mansion, you got the Salo Sept. If you didn't do those other side quests and you want the extra experience, very good item, you can use that. Go get any more occult items, go buy anything. I know I'm rambling on about this, but please go do this first because you will not be able to do it ever again. Now I'm actually going to uh, check over, make sure I have all the preparations I need before doing this, and I'll see you guys back here in a minute, uh, well, like five seconds for you, maybe a few minutes for me, just to make sure that I have everything I need, alright? Okay, one thing. This knife has been on the ground, sitting here in downtown, I think since I got to downtown, since like episode 10 or something. And now I'm not full on melee weapons, so you know what, screw it. I'm picking up this stupid knife and it will no longer be here on the ground. Apparently, I think I picked up this money clip in post, but it wasn't in my actual save file, so I'm pretty sure I already showed this. I can also, uh, now that I have a high enough lockpick, I, I can actually open this naturally. I'm not gonna handle this. I've already showed all the poster session stuff, but, um, you know, just so you know. Picked up. Oh. 
Oh, I need to buy this. Okay, I did not note this, because I actually forgot that this existed. Uh, this was the weapon that I'm pretty sure it might be in a, might have been in the unofficial patch you could find at the Hallberg Hotel. Mercurio is selling me a flamethrower, which I don't even care how much money it costs. I'm going to take whatever. How much ammo does it have? Okay, we're going to need... I'm Okay, my ammo's full. I bought an entire clip for it. Whatever, that's so cool that I'm just going to use it anyway. Alright, I think I am done with all my preparations for this pre-segment. You see I'm in Santa Monica now as well. Um, I still have all this experience points. I could actually spend the XP, I guess. Uh, I'm not going to worry about this right now. I could if I wanted to. I'm considering grabbing Potent 3 and Presence 3 right now, but right now uh, I'm not going to do anything about it. I should have showed some of what I picked up uh, at least, but I bought an extra blue blood pack and a normal blood pack. I'm at 5 on each. I went ahead and bought the bush hook. Really, I I shouldn't have because the, I think the katana is just better, but I mean, it'll be cool to show off another weapon at least. I bought a bit more ammo. I believe I only bought it for the 50 cal, actually. And then, uh, I know I did show this because that's the last thing that I just did. I bought the flamethrower from Mercurio. And that's about all I did. So, I think we're ready. I think I'm about as prepared as I'm ever going to be. And I have a save file right before all this happened, so... Where to? Let's go. And here we are. I don't know why the cab drivers... Wait, can we actually... Where to? Okay. So, <laughs> I guess I was kind of wrong in saying that taking the cab is a point of no return. You can take it back right here. But... Not for long. Oh, that's not a door, apparently. Oh, a cable car? I've never taken a cable car in real life. This looks like so much fun. Oh, look at this. This is so cool. More of the golden eye sound. I know Griffith Parthic is, is like a real place in LA. I've never been, of course, but I'm sure it's a it's a nice little place. Look at this. This is like this is already screaming like big plot moment. Here we are, we're already at the top. Look at this, this place is so cool. Good to see you again, kid. Heard you made quite a name for yourself. No small feat in this city. I hear LaCroix needs us all of a sudden. Hmm. Well, I'll be damned. <laughs> yeah, I'll be damned too. He proposes an alliance with the Anarchs to get rid of the Quajin. Does he now? You know, we just ended a war with them and we lost a lot of people. Too many. Does he expect us to do all the fighting while the Camarilla throws mean looks from the sidelines? Or are they ready to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with those goddamn devils? Um, uh, he sounded pretty serious, honestly. Uh, they're willing to do anything it takes. I still don't trust LaCroix, but then again, the Camarilla didn't wholesale slaughter us upon arrival. God damn it, I'm stuck between a rock and a son of a bitch. I don't think that's the saying. Um, I'm ready to fight the Quajin. That is totally true. Have you ever fought them? Do you know what they're capable of? How they view our kind? They're demons in battle. Killed my predecessor. It's strange though. LaCroix wanting to war against them all of a sudden? Something's not right. Yeah, I honestly, I thought the same thing. He kind of turned around 180 really fast. I do agree that we can't really trust him, but I do think an alliance is for the best. Not what I mean, kid. Smell that? Smells like smoke. We gotta get out of here. Uh, what do you mean? Kid, we've been followed. That fire's coming from all directions. It's man-made. We gotta get out of here. This is bad. Uh, well, it's just a little fire, even though... Uh, we've seen fire and vampires don't mix very well. No, kid, you don't understand. 
The fire wasn't set to kill us. Come on, we gotta get to the tram. What are you talking about? What's the problem? I didn't hide out here because it was a nice view. I did it because no one would come looking for me in these parts. This is werewolf country. Um... <laughs> Can't we tell them it wasn't us? You scared of werewolves? Yeah, I am too. Werewolves don't talk to us. Werewolves don't care. They kill on sight. Now let's move. Um, you, we can take them. No, no, we can't. You don't understand what these things are capable of. Guns are useless, and getting close is suicide. The only thing to do is run. Now let's get to the tram. We can't waste any more time. Um, well, I've got your back, but you can see the tram just left. Shit! It's leaving! Come on, kid, we gotta get inside that building until it comes back! That's not good. That's really not good. That's even that's even more not good. But we have our timer. We need to survive. I'm going to get stuck in pop celerity right now we our objective right now is to survive which is uh, easier said than done as you can see but there is an optional objective we can actually take care of this werewolf it is not easy though we need to head through this back door there's a lot of little steps that we got to do and we got to outrun this werewolf but we can make it work. First, we notice that the power has been off this whole time. Oh, I hear him. We need to turn on the power first and foremost. Oh, outrunning this guy is is not easy. We gotta get go back into the observatory. Oh, I don't like that sound. This is uh, quite terrifying, especially if you don't have celerity, uh, because this guy is quite fast. And, as you can see, he's deadly! He did a lot of damage! Gotta open these main doors to the observatory. We gotta work fast, too. We have a time limit, and we don't want to die. And then we gotta move back outside. This is <laughs> quite a uh, hectic little mission. Uh, I think I'm doing this right, at least. I don't know, actually. But, oh, this guy's he's real close. I'm gonna pop the celerity and still get hit. Um, I think I made a big mistake coming back here. Oh god, he's right there in the door. This is bad. Um, I think, yeah, I'm gonna wait for him to pop the door and maybe... Oh, that did a lot of damage. That's a big hit. Luckily, I think I need to pop this right now. <laughs> Uh, this is not going very well. I'll be honest, I don't remember the, uh, the way to actually take care of this werewolf. I remember turning on the power. Um, there's a point where we can crush him in a door. Oh, open the- that's a bathroom! Why is this game obsessed with bathrooms? There's always a bathroom everywhere here. Wait, electrical room? No, keep it on. Oh, we can't even- Oh, that's bad. Oh, we don't know where he is, too, which is, like, even worse. If this doesn't work, I'm- Oh, he's right there. Oh, let me- Let me move, please. Luckily, we can kind of outspeed him with celerity. Without celerity, this is obviously, uh, real hard. Okay, I'm doing- I'm, like, sucking at this. Here's this opening. Where, where is he? I just heard him. I believe we need to be right here and have him be outside. Where are you, dude? Okay, he's right there. Alright, come here. Come here, little puppy. I see you. Oh, I don't want to have to go and run and try and bait him over here. Here we go. We need to lure him into the observatory doors. And then... Oh, it didn't work. Okay. 
We can close the observatory doors on him. Which will crush him to death. Oh, here we go. Oh, did we do it? He's getting crushed. Oh my god, we actually did it. I can't believe I just did that. But yes, you can kill the werewolf by crushing him to death in the observatory doors. That's what you're supposed to do. I'm sorry that I didn't remember and so I was kind of flailing around and running around uh, the whole time. But we killed the werewolf. We took care of him. That was actually impressively fast. I believe we still have to actually wait for the cable car though. Because it is not here yet. We can see... Well, I can hear it now. Next tram. One minute. I don't know why there's not like a button to request it, but I mean, here it's coming. We took care of the wolf. If this, uh, if you don't want to do this, then you can just wait out the full timer and take the cable car back down. And you can see, bam, look at all that experience we got for that. How nice. And we return victorious. With this glorious view of LA. I've never been to LA. I have been to New York now. It's quite pretty. I would like to go visit LA someday though. It'd be nice. Just like a, you know, a nice little visit. That went real quick though. I'm honestly I'm impressed that I got that on the first try and I didn't die. That werewolf can be pretty deadly. It's a good thing I had extra blood packs. But uh we don't know what happened to nines. And we were just transported here. Uh, all of a sudden, we don't know what's going on by our good buddy Jack. Wake up! Look alive, kid. You better be on your feet and ready to move. Uh, yeah. What What's going on? Get ready to run. Take everything you need. You're never coming back here. Okay, I never really came back to this uh, haven anyway. What happened? Lacroix put out the word. He says you're in league with the Kuei Jin, Ming Xiao's puppet. That you're the one who set up nines for her. See, he's figured it all out. And now your death is a big bullet point in his new Unity campaign. There's a blood hunt on you. I'm in league with the Kuei Jin? I don't think so. He had to turn things around on you real quick since you found out about his deal with Ming Zhao. This is his plan B. Plan A was to kill you in nines in Griffith Park. Now LaCroix is playing the victim. The way he tells it, you were like his own child. He entrusted you with so much. And you took full advantage, sold out to the Kuei Jin, and cost the people their hero. They're saying Nines is dead, and you killed him. That bastard. After all this time, I told you we can never trust him from the start. Look, I'm here to help you. Again. But damn it, it's time. Time for what? Time to make a choice. Well, did Nines make it out of Griffith Park? I gotta know this. I hope you live to find out. Well, what am I supposed to do? You're gonna have to stay off the street and stay on the move. It's open season on your ass. Vampire's gonna be bussing in from Sacramento to join in on this hunt. Sacramento's not that far away from LA, come on. Oh, joy. You need backing. You need the protection of one of the factions. Friends are the last thing you want to be without right now. But you have to get out of here. Well, you make it sound so easy. I got a drive route and get you where you need to go. Interesting guy, you like him. But this place is being watched. He's across Santa Monica by the junkyard. Get there and he'll get you out of town. Well, uh, but then where? He'll take you wherever. Wherever you feel safest. Alright then. In case we don't see each other again. Nice knowing you, kiddo. Give him hell. They deserve it. Well, we have our mission from Jack. Here in our lovely haven. It still has the note from Mercurio in it. And a TV. But... I think, I didn't expect this to go this fast, but this is kind of a good point to cut this off for a story note. I, I swear this is, we didn't have this view outside of our apartment before, but um, I'm going to cut it off here because we got a lot on our plate ahead of us. We have a blood hunt issued for us, and we're going to have to fight our way out of Santa Monica. 
So, thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time for a no doubt action-packed next fart. Thank you. And I'll see you all next time. And I just said that for the second time. Several members of Congress are protesting the president's refusal to disclose details of meetings his staff had last year with the heads of several energy companies. They say measures agreed upon will increase air pollution and give large tax breaks to energy companies. An official statement issued by the president states that these meetings were meant to assist in the draft of a fairer energy bill that would cultivate enhanced pollutant tolerances and relax energy production risk burdens. A terrorist of two energy companies. An official statement issued by the president states that he can do whatever he wants. Who do you think put him there? Mobs of villagers in New Delhi.